Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Evans. Um, back again. It's been a minute since I made a video. Uh, I'm basically I'm doing this video just to show you guys how I came up with my beat um, for my song "Baba God." I'm still working on "Baba God." It's almost done. Um, but this is how I came up with the instrumentation. You know, the beat to the song. I'm just gonna walk you guys through, and uh, at the end I'm gonna play you guys a little bit of "Baba God." See how it sounds. You know. Um, so stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoy this. Alright, so this is how I came up with the Baba God beat. I was basically, you know, just messing around on FL Studio. Uh, and the first thing I decided to, you know, um, basically record. I always try to record my drums first, but then I find a, you know, some kind of sound for it. Or sometimes I do the sound and I put the drums around it. But in this case, what I did was actually started with my drums first. So I started with my uh, 808. I love using 808s. So I started with the 808 and this is what I came up with right here. So after my 808, I decided, you know, I went in, um, tried to find what kind of snare is going to, you know, fit. And that's what I came up with. Oh, sorry, that's the 808. And there's this. You know, that's how that goes. Right, simple enough, right? So after um, I put, you know my 808 in then I put in my snare the next thing I decided to put in was my hi-hat but I went with an open hi-hat you know just to give me that nice that nice little feel you know what I'm saying nice open hi-hat this how it sounds right there right, so after I put in my hi-hat uh, the next thing I put in was my congas Because, you know, once again, I have to reflect my African, you know, my African culture. I have to somehow put the African culture into it. <laughs> and uh, being that, I'm, you know, I'm from La, you know, uh, Greater Accra region. So I'm gone, you know, I'm mixed. I'm 50-50, but I claim more gone than anything else. Actually, I'm 75-25, but let's not worry about that. So because of, like, the whole, you know, the whole palubu feel, you know, where you have the the congas, as we call it in Ghana, the conca, the conca going, you know, I decided to throw, throw those in there, and this is how that sounds. Alright, so after I was done layering all the, uh, the uh, what do you call it, the drums, I'll go into my sounds. The first thing I opened up was Nexus. So I was messing around with Nexus. And Nexus has a lot of sounds. A lot of sounds. So I was just messing around with it and came up with this one. And this is the um, the little, you know, pattern that I came up with. The little, what do you call it? Called? The melody. Yeah, the melody. with that melody and um, after that I kept on messing around kept on messing around uh, opened up you know, one of my uh, other synthesizers um, and I found this nice little kind of dreamy sound <laughs> like something like in a fantasy movie, you know, some very weird bells, um, and I decided to throw this onto my verse, and this is how this one came out, alright, so after I was done with that one, you know, for my verse, what I did was, I went ahead, and I went back into that same, you know, synthesizer. Of, you know, it was a, it was a sound font. It was, those are sound fonts. It was the same sound, but I went ahead and um, found another sound in the same um, 
program or the same, you know, the same program or whatever. And I came up with this one called the Dance Super Saw. I wanted to use the Dance Super Saw for my hook. So this is what I came up with for that one. So that's the Dance Super Saw. So after I was done playing that one in there, it still sounded, you know, a little weak. It needed to be more full. It wasn't full enough. So I went ahead and I dropped in like my favorite strings. Most of my songs, most of the of the beats that I produce, most of them, all well, almost always, will have these strings, these exact strings, the Fluoristin strings, Fluoristin string assemble. That's what I always use. I love it. I love it. So I decided to play that, you know, to fill up my uh, my hook. That's how that one came out. And if you can't tell, I don't really know how to play the keyboard, but I make some pretty good beats, you know, because all you have to do is just improvise. Just, just find the melody and just play something around it. You know, I might not know how to play the keyboard, but I'm pretty musically gifted. I know how to find my way around it. And if I can, I just call Jacob. You know, hey, shout out Jacob. What up, Jacob? Um, so after that, you know, I played some toms to basically separate the verse and the hook, you know, to like introduce the hook, you know, or introduce the verse, you know, either or. Uh, it was just a simple, you know, tom roll, basically. All right, so when I was done, I put it all together. You know, and this is how the Baba God beat sounds. It's Evans, Evans on the beat. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm making the next video I make, I'm gonna actually, you know, go into my program and show, you know, step by step how I actually make the beats from scratch instead of just, you know, kind of playing it along. But I really appreciate you guys watching this video. Uh, you know, stay tuned. Uh, stay tuned, man. You know, we're all doing this for the glory of God, man. You know, um, He gave us life. Well, He gave me life, you know. So I'm very, very grateful when I have to do anything to give back onto Him. I'm um, ugly already gone, man. Thank you guys for watching. God bless you all. Thank you.